All right, <clears throat> so it's uh, that time again, v voting time. From now, this is the 2nd of August here in <clears throat> Leon County, Florida. Leon County is, is the district, by the way, that um, um, DeSantos gerrymandered so badly that a federal judge here in the state said, uh, that's just too much, man. You can't do that. It gets rid of our state representative, Al Lawson. And then DeSantos turned around and said, yeah, screw that. We're going to gerrymander it anyway. So, again, the dictatorship of DeSantos strikes again strikes at the heart of all Floridians. So, <clears throat> voting time. Um, in general so far, I don't have much to say about it. Uh, our, both of our senators are just not worth a crap. Uh, one of them, only one of them's up for election and that's a uh, little Marco. And uh, Val Deming is running against her him and um, I like Val Deming you know I've never been really thrilled about cops that much but she's compared to Marco the go hide in the Cuban I don't know what he I think he found a Batista's hideout and crawled up in there somehow you know He's, he's a real, real piece of work. He took three point million dollars from the NRA. <clears throat> he's a, one of the main backers of the Proud Boys. He helps those guys. They're <clears throat> taking over the school districts and stuff in South Florida. He's a real, real scumbag. He needs to be voted out. Val Deming is a good shot. You know, she's a South Florida. She's a cop. She's got the local cops down there. You know, on her side. They're probably stuck between a rock and a hard place on that deal. But really, Mark Rubio is just a... He doesn't do anything. All he does is get the rile up the Cuban little base there in, in South Florida to vote Republican and he gets paid lots of money for it. You know, he was paid by Russia. Um, he went on a couple of trips to Russia. Um, there's no reason for him to go there other than to get some payola in his back pocket and support Trump, which is what he did after Trump called him Little Marco. You know, Whatever. The other senator, Scott, is just the biggest piece of crap on the planet. <clears throat> he's just a, he's a thief and a liar. He came out today and said, well, yeah, it was okay, you know. I guess it was kind of good that he shot the main guy or killed the main guy in Al-Qaeda, but... You know, he did say he was going to eliminate Al-Qaeda, and Al-Qaeda isn't eliminate, you know. What a low-grade piece of crap. You know, he's not even a smart man. He's just super wealthy. He bought up all these old, defunct public hospitals, privatized them because the local governments, you know, whatever, wanted to privatize everything. So now here in Florida, it's all privatized. We we go to the hospital here or do anything, mainly because of this asshole Rick Scott when he was governor for two years, privatized the health care system. Unbelievable. Now it's time for DeSantos. You know, there's so many things that he's done that have just been horrible. One of the 
last things that I remember that I can remember. There's been so many, but um, all except for the you know this don't say gay and all this other crap. But I look at a lot of the environmental stuff that these clowns did. I mean, Scott did nothing. Scott took climate. You couldn't even say climate change in the state of Florida. And I forget what he made people say. <coughs> and um, so, um, you know, anyway, under DeSanto's watch, and this happened to, under, it has happened a lot here in Florida, it just continues to happen because even though the federal government subsidizes these sugarcane plantations and a lot of the other big agriculture and the largest cattle ranch in the United States is here in Florida, by the way. Uh, huge industrial, you know, the way they slaughter these animals, the chickens and the pigs, and I mean, it's, just, it's pretty disgusting. You know, factory farming, if it was back in the old days when you had a local butcher, and, you know, the animal was raised on the farm, you know, I kind of, even though I'm a vegetarian, I can kind of see that, but the way it is now, it's just disgusting. Anybody could eat that beyond my comprehension, how you could shove that crap in your mouth. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to vote for Nikki Freed in the primaries. I know Charlie Crist is probably going to win this thing, <clears throat> and I don't mind Charlie that much. He actually, even when he was the governor and he was a Republican, he actually tried to champion some legislation that would have <coughs> changed our way of doing business in Central and South Florida as far as agriculture goes, and it wouldn't have, and Lake Okeechobee would not be so affected. Of course, the glades, you know, the glades are like the wetlands of Louisiana. I mean, we just lose some mangrove forests and, you know, saltwater intrusion and they blocked the the south end of uh, Okeechobee. You know, people don't realize Okeechobee is really just part of a giant river system that flows into the Everglades. So they blocked it, you know, to kind of dam it up, make it bigger, make it deeper, more people can use it. They pump that water into uh, Miami and Tampa and drinking water probably, or they treat it, you know. Well, anyway, that whole area is just a big mess. And Republicans, through their greed and uh, the power structures here in Florida, through their greed, have really, really turned it into a, you know, Nikki Freed is our the only Democrat elected official in the state of Florida, and she's the head of the Department of Agriculture. So I've kept up with her because one of my main personal concerns is global warming and the environment. I mean, I know there's lots of other issues, but trust me, if humans don't solve the the rise in the planet temperature, uh, which to a lot of, for a lot of people it's already too late, but uh, you know, all the rest is just a moot point. So, back to the elections. Um, they're coming up. Uh, everybody who lives here in Leon County in Florida, they're coming up. I think early voting by mail starts in about a week. This is what your ballot's going to look like. And uh, before we're done with this, I'll open this up, show you what's going on. But all this stuff is pretty funny. This is the kind of crap we get in the mail from these people, from these clowns. And it's, it really is kind of a clown show. And, um, you know. I brought all the other mail down besides this. So I was moving the other mail off of these. 
So here's, this is Gregory James. Here he is. Gregory James. I don't know anything about Gregory James yet. I'm just showing you my homework. Because every year what I do before the elections, because there's so many of these down ballot elections that I really don't have a clue about. So I start looking up these guys. You know, one thing leads to another, and you can pretty much go through the gamut of, you know, Republicans and Democrats, you know, who are in your local area, which I think everybody should do this. I mean, I know it's a little bit of a hassle, but, you know, I, I can sit down and in about an hour or two know pretty much all I need to know about these local candidates anyway. So... He's got a, you know, he's got a nice smile, and he's working for us, and early voting starts August 13th. Today is August the 2nd, so about a week and a half, and I think the last day for voting here in Florida is the 27th, and the all of these small little um, midterm votes and primaries, they're all really important. You know, people need to understand if you if you learn about these people at this point by the time you get to the midterms you know you're gonna know an awful lot in general about the politics of Florida just by doing this little exercise so I'll look him up I'll see what the heck's going on with him every every one of these people has a story <laughs> Jerry, Jeremy Matlow. All right, this is somebody that uh, I'm not sure if he's a Republican. I think he might be. He's uh, running for city commissioner. With his, there's his two boys. Of course, they got to throw their kids in there always, you know. Now the Republicans are saying horrible things about this guy, that he's a millionaire and that he's taking bribes and doing all that stuff. As soon as Republicans start talking bad about somebody, that makes me start thinking, maybe he's not such a bad guy. But, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. Can't there's, These things are just bullshit, but they give you a starting point. So I'll be looking up about Matlow, and I can't remember who the guy is that's running against him, but he's a real. Oh, look at this guy. He's a beauty. Dustin Rivas. Yes. Oh, look at this side. He's got his family on display. Look, there's my family. The choice is clear for real change in, in Leon County. They don't tell you what choice. He's a husband, father, brother, entrepreneur, and founder of the five companies. Well, that does it for me. Five companies. He's a lifelong resident. What difference does that make? It's Florida. Shit. That means you're a. That means you're a Florida cracker hayseed. Okay, great. Running for the county commissioner in District 5. That's this district. And here he's got a sample of the ballots. And he's got everybody else's name fuzzed out. But his own. Boy, that's a real strategy, isn't it? Learn more at DustinRevest.com Well, you know what, Dustin? I'm one Floridian who's going to be at that website checking you out. All this week, that's what I'm going to be doing. I can't take it for very long, so I'll probably do like one or two people at a time, you know. Make some notes. I have my, I actually have, you know, several notebooks that I use. And this is my daily notebook that I write down whatever the hell's going on. And then I have, you know, I have songwriting notebooks, and I have, I'm learning how to do uh, 
minor computer science, learning how to read Linux and Bash and stuff. So I have a notebook for that too. Uh, here we go. We're going to re-elect this clown. Now he was a Republican, but apparently everybody liked him. I didn't vote for him. And I don't know that he's done such a great job. I have heard conflicting reports about this guy. So, he's got the same last name as this other guy, John Daly. So, I don't know. But boy, everybody's not, everybody is avoiding their uh, saying anything about um being affiliated with Trump or DeSantos or anything like that. Okay, here's another clown. Adner. Little Adner. Adner Marceline knows that moving Tallahassee forward means listening to everyone in the community everyone and he has everyone he he's even got a masked guy who's that masked man ah okay he's endorsed by the professional firefighters benjamin crump so this guy's got to be the local democrat and uh what's he running for anyway Oh, city council for seat five. So there's a, two or three people running for the same seat. Barbara Duvain, Inman Johnson, Pastor Lee Johnson, Bob. I've never heard of any of these guys. So I don't care if these if these local yokels. And around here, you can't be fooled by um, black people in the picture. You know, this is a very, very conservative town as far as black people go. And I don't mean necessarily conservative as far as all the way into the GOP, although there's a lot of that. But they're very conservative kind of religious and you know somebody like me kind of a you know, one of those troublesome democratic white dudes you can make trouble yeah that's me okay josh johnson there he is josh johnson He's running for the com county commissioner, too. And he's endorsed by a whole lot of people. He's going to protect our rural areas. Like that. Restore the public trust. Good luck. Invest in small business growth. Who's against that? Certainly not the small business people. And he's going to go to work for you. Well, okay. You do have a nice smile. All right, let's see. Here we have another guy. Holy Toledo. What is this guy running for? Together we can make an impact, Nick Maddox. Leon Kamani, County Commissioner at Large. They, 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 never, they don't say none of these people. It's always suspicious to me when they're not throwing their credential, their uh, creds out there like Democrat or Republican or something, you know, like, ah. Uh, 
Just say what you are. Say what you stand for. He's going to overcome inflation. Well, shit. I'm going to have, he's going to make affordable housing. He's going to stop violent crime. And he's going to make access to the capital. All right. How the hell he's going to overcome greedy corporations from jacking prices up? I have no idea. Go talk to Dow Chemical Company personally, I guess, or the Mobile Wheel Company. Hey, could you guys please lower your prices and stop making so much profit? You're causing inflation. Uh, you know, affordable housing, that's a joke. There's, Nobody makes affordable housing. Nobody knows how to make affordable housing because the rules and regulations for building housing in this state and in most parts of this country make it so that there's no such thing as affordable housing. And violent crime, I don't know. We do have a lot of uh, gunfights around here, mainly uh, younger people with having a gun, I guess, is prestigious. Mainly it's younger black males that are doing this, but there's also some white dudes too. Anyway, good luck, Nick, on all those things that you're going to do, and I hope you do Get some of them done. Oh, no, this guy. I know about this guy. Here he is. David Bellamy. Definitely do not vote for this guy in any way, shape, or form. He is a DeSantos Trump Trumplefite of course, you know, he's got to have a picture of this black dude on the front. And uh, I don't know if that's a lady cop or whatever. This guy used to be a cop. Then he became a surgeon. And in my estimation, the around here with all the public, I mean, uh, with all the private medical industry uh, I don't know that that's such a great endorsement but here's this thing he's the one that he did he's the one that's runs down the smap and that low guy I remember I was telling you about him really negative and uh, this guy this guy is like he's endorsed by Trump and DeSantos the police department endorses this guy, which, you know, I had somebody accuse me of, oh, you want to defund the police? No, I don't want to defund the police, but I'm pretty tired of giving them half of all my taxes here locally and then having them crap on the citizens. <clears throat> you know, they're walking around, they're just everywhere. You know, cops after cops after cops. Anyway, this David Bellamy, he's a real, he's a real uh, low life, uh, gutter snipe. You know, I wouldn't vote for him. I wouldn't give him the sweat off my, you know what. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> Neighbor kid, one work. All right, here we go. David Diane Williams Cox. She's qualified, trusted, and experienced. 
endorsed by the Florida Pen Police Benevolent Association, <clears throat> helped recruit large investments such as Amazon, affordable housing, infrastructure. COVID response approves $1 million in relief for small businesses and nonprofits. <coughs> she did that? All by herself, huh? Mm. Anyway, don't know about this one at all. I'm going to just go ahead and have to check her out. A lot of these, like I said, you got to watch out. A lot of these uh, black folks here in Florida really are not black folks. They are white people dressed up like black folks. <clears throat> All right. This is got a couple left. Look at this guy. He just sent out a whole family picture. Let me tell you why I'm running. Hmm. Well, I'm going to find out about this guy for sure. He's frustrated with the local government. Doggone guy. Struggles to solve the persistent problems such as housing affordability. Jesus Christ, they've all said housing affordability. We need leaders who listen, engage, help shape outcomes that benefit us all. Okay, that's why he's running for county commissioner. His top priority is to make sure you can enjoy in an affordable, safe, thri and thriving place to live. And with your support, I know we can make Leon County even better. Well, let's hope so. I'm asking for your vote. Blah, 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 blah. He, and then he hopes to earn our, his vote. I hope you do, too. I really do. And the Tallahassee Democrat, right here, which that's our local paper, which is actually a pretty decent paper. I don't think it's owned by anybody but itself. When County Commissioner Kristen Dozier announced that she wouldn't be running for re-election after her third term, Jay Russell said he saw an opportunity to serve Tallahassee. Okay. That's it? That's the only reason? That little boy is slobbering. That little boy is just sitting there slobbering. Okay. And here's the last one for this evening. And this is Kristen Dozier. And uh, everybody's talking about her. They want to get rid of that John Daly, I guess, who's kind of a Republican guy, and replace her him with her and she's doing really well since she came out and of course I'm sure that the uh, you know the don't say gay bill and the abortion rights and all that kind of stuff that's going on and she has been adamant although her first thing she says is create more affordable housing what and reducing violent crime. And she's going to take care of corruption. Okay. I hope she can do all of that. Wouldn't it be funny if, or, or refreshing, if one of these guys just, somebody just came out and ran for office and said, look, you know, everything is fucked up and I'm going to try to do the best I can to help make it better. But you don't get that. You get this 
I'm going to, she's going to reduce violent crime. Well, that's one less death, I guess, is better than, all right. Well, that's enough. I'm going to, I'm going to be looking up these people and I'm going to be checking in probably about once a week on uh, how, are, how things are going. Let me go ahead and open up my uh, voting thing here. Oh, they have Spanish on the back. Necesita un boleta oficial un es español. So that's a necessary ticket, official ticket in Spanish. Visita leonvotas.org Esto en contacto no, Nuestra Oficial Oficiana Oficiana So you can visit Leon County Vote dot org or you can contact um, the county officials the officials in general <laughs> okay official voting by ballot let's let let us take a look at this they probably have some kind of way if you open it wrong you know it doesn't count or something uh, Jesus, this Voter suppression crap they're done in Florida. Oh, and by the way, in our uh, one other little detail which really pisses us off, we've, ever since I've lived here, which has been about 12 years or so now, in this really nice little neighborhood, we have a park you can just walk to, and it's been a voting polling place the whole time I've been here, for every election, every single election. Really convenient. All the people in the neighborhood come here. And they, the Republicans nixed it. They got rid of our beautiful little place. So, don't really know where we got to go. We will probably vote by mail anyway. We have a little package in here. I have a little I voted sticker. So, I don't know where I'll put that. I might put that in a conspicuous place. Um, and here's the, the, the things that you got to really watch out for. It's these, these mail back envelopes. This is one of the things they try to do. See, they get you to sign this not thinking and then when you put this back up there depending on how you sign it it can cut off part of your signature so then they take this and they go whoosh, invalid signature so everybody if you're going to use this be careful sign this thing after it's closed lick it close it make sure your valid is in it and then you sign it. A little tidbit there. Okay. Must receive your ballot by August 23rd on election day. Have to return your completed ballot. Here's all the instructions. Early voting. I don't know if the mail in thing. Anyway, I'll, f I'll find out all about that by tomorrow. I'm glad I remembered about that signature thing. That's really important. That bamboozled a lot of people. I think many hundreds, if not thousands of people. Uh, I got nailed on that one. Why they would, I have no idea. All right, so this is our primary election ballot, August 23rd, Leon County. <clears throat> and that's basically what it looks like. 
You got each category, then you have the candidates. Category, candidates, category, candidates. So I'm going to be going through all these candidates. And I'll probably do um, <clears throat> some shorter ones of these. Oh, this is probably just long as hell. So anyway, I want to have some of my um, Florida legal reefer madness and say adios and y'all have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever. And vote blue, vote blue.